Elizabeth Stan was a major influence on the 1848 convention held in Seneca Falls, New York, and was deemed the name the voice of women's rights. One of her most famous actions included the first draft of the Declaration of Sentiments. Her declaration stated that all men and women were equal and demanded women to be given the, the sacred right of elective franchise. Stanton lived to be a rebel, and her style of fashion displayed her way of life. She was one of the only women in the late 1800s who wore bloomers instead of the heavy, bulky fashions of her time. Stanton, with the help of her comrade Su Susan B. Anthony, created the National Women's Suffrage Association. If Stanton was the voice of the NWSA, Susan B. Anthony was the face and the names millions of people associated with it. Anthony was an outspoken advocate who traveled worldwide to campaign for equality and women's rights. Anthony's parents were both of the Quaker religion and believed that men and women should be able to work, live, and study in equality because they live in a world so unequally divided. Stanton and Anthony dedicated their entire lives to the campaign of women's rights.